During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about road ditch care, and I want to start with this. If you're not from the country, then you may not realize that most farmers own their ground, not just the ground they're farming, they own the ditch, and they own half of the road in a, in a lot of townships. So literally, as a, as a landowner in the country, I own a whole bunch of roads, or at least half roads. So not that I have to take care of those roads or anything like that, but I do have to take care of the ditches. When you look at that ditch, you're out in the country, right? Who takes care of that? You see the fields looking pretty, but not always the ditches. And I think this is one of those things for farmers that are listening today. If you're in that boat and you say, well, I don't really care about the ditch. I don't make money out in the ditch. Well, the ditch could be costing you a lot of money on the farm too. Well, it can, but I want to start with you could make money on that ditch. So what we will typically do is even though we don't have livestock anymore, we will let some other people who do have livestock bale our ditches so they can actually use that for grass hay. So that's how we could either get some income off of that or at least get a bunch of goodwill from our neighbors. Well, and if that road happens to run right past the front of your house, you probably want to mow that ditch and keep the weeds down and that type of thing anyway. But if it's out in front of your field, how important is controlling a weed in that ditch to you? Well, for me, I look at our fields that are right by that ditch and think, well, if there's weeds in the ditch, they're gonna go to seed and that seed's gonna come out into my field. Or if they're perennial weeds, they're gonna run rhizomes underneath the ground that are gonna pop up in my field. And all of a sudden, that little problem in a 20 foot wide ditch could be a big problem in my big field. Right, so there's tremendous incentive for farmers to kill weeds in ditches. But then let's also talk about insects. Darren said weeds can move in from ditches. It's the exact same thing with insects. So when I think about grasshoppers, I think about even army worms or sometimes cutworms, stalk borers, a lot of times eggs are laid out in those ditches in the grassy areas because for the most part they're undisturbed and it makes a nice home to lay those eggs. So if you can just simply spray the ditches with insecticide, if you find harmful insects out there, then you can prevent having to spray the entire field. It saves a lot of money if you can head this thing off by just spraying the ditches. The other thing is fence lines. And a lot of times in that ditch, you'll see a fence before you get into the field. Now, if there are livestock that graze out in the field, or if it's a pasture that the ditch runs right next to, it makes a lot of sense. But for crop farmers, many of those fences have come out over the years. And we've gotten questions about, well, if I leave the fence, it's a little bit of a challenge to control weeds and to keep it mowed down and those types of things. We say it's worth the work. If you do that and you keep that fence line up and you mow underneath there, not only does the fence last longer and look better, you can keep the weeds down. We see too often where farmers say, you know, I'm just going to kill everything underneath the fence line so I don't have to mow underneath it. And you do run some risk there. If you've got bare ground, eventually weeds are going to start breaking through on that bare ground and it could become a mess for you. If you can, mow up close to the fence and, and just mow underneath the fence if at all possible. So once again, in rural America, most landowners in townships actually own all the way to the middle of the road. And while they don't have to maintain the road, they do have to maintain the ditches. This is tremendous important for farmers in terms of weed control and insect control and affecting those fields. So that's why we encourage farmers, take care of the ditches, please. Well, one of those weeds that we may see in a ditch is our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to stop it later in the show.